Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about HCL version vault ACLs. ACLs are nothing but access control lists used for VOB access management in version vault. Let's take an example of a VOB which has a couple of file elements in it and owner and group information attached to it. And there are a couple of clients belonging to the same ownership and group information. There is a domain from where the ownership and group information are coming from. In case of Windows, it can be Active Directory and for Unix, it can be NS domain. If the clients are trying to access the WAV, it will fetch the ownership and group information from the domain and compare it with what exists on the WAV. And if it matches, then it will get access and the clients would be able to do checkout and check-in operations on the WAV. This is how a typical WAV access works in case of version world. Moving on, let's see how this WAB access happens in case of a legacy based approach. Let's take an example of three components X, Y and S. Having the group information of X, Y and S for the same. And user who is from team X who needs checkout and check in operations on component X and read only access on component S. We will add him to group X and group S and we will create a no checkout trigger for restricting the checkout operations on component S. Similarly, let's take another user from team Y who needs access on component Y and component S. So we will add him to the respective groups and create no checkout trigger. And let's say there is another user who needs access on the component S. So we will add him to the same group. Finally, build user who needs access on all the three components. So we will add him to all the three groups. As we can clearly see, as and when the number of components or the WOBs increases, each user has to be added to all these groups. And as you all know, there are certain restrictions like 16 groups and 32 groups based on the operating system. There would be a hard limit on the number of groups that can be added to a given user. And also at the domain level, it will become an overhead for the administrator for manage newer groups as and when new WOBs are created. And also managing these triggers will become a cumbersome process. This is the main disadvantage in a legacy based approach. Now let's see how the same WOB access management can be done in case of an ACL based approach. Let's say there are the same set of components X, Y and S and the same set of users. In case of ACL based approach, there will be policy and role maps files that are created and attached to the component WAPs. The example of team X user who needs checkout and check in access on the component X and read only access on component S. There will be an entry made in the policy file wherein the group X will have full permission for component X and read access on component S. So effectively, he will have checkout and check-in option on component X and only read access on component S. And there is no need of no checkout trigger. Similarly, for team Y user, there will be an entry for the policy files with full access on component Y and read access on component S. Similarly, for team S user, there will be an entry with full access. And for the build user, as you can see in all the three policy files, there will be only read permission given. Clearly, you can see ACL based approach will help us in effectively managing the WAB access without any need of creating newer and newer groups as and when the new WABs are created. And also the need of creating no checkout triggers is also eliminated. To summarize with the ACL based approach, it will be a more granular way of managing the WAB access and it is more versatile way of managing the WAB access. We will get better control on the WAB and we will be able to eliminate the uh, no checkout triggers and we will also reduce the number of groups that are created at the domain level. And more importantly, we will avoid hitting that 16 or 32 group limit because of the OS based restriction. So in this way, ACL based approach will be a better approach compared to the legacy based approach in case of WAB access management. Thank you.